Well, let's have a first look at the Galway Phil and Fla program, 35th edition. I can't believe it's the 35th uh, edition. Maeve McGrath joins me. She uh, is the director of programming uh, for the 35th edition of the uh, Phil and Fla. Maeve, good morning to you. How are you? Hello. How are you? Nice to be here again. Yeah, it's good Good to have you and uh, congratulations. A lot of work goes into this. Uh, this is a year-round project then that comes together over a week. Yeah, it's fierce. A lot of people think that we kind of open on the 11th of July and finish on the 16th and off we go. But uh, no, it's year-round. We're watching films. We are going to other film festivals to watch films because, you know, while obviously Irish films are a priority for the festival, they always will be a priority. We do have to look at world cinema. And so we travel to, you know, Berlin festivals like that and see what's out there. And we sit in dark rooms and watch films all year round. And it's it's lovely. It's great. It's a perfect job, really, isn't it? I do love it. And, you know, I, I can't even recall how many films I've watched this year. It's probably it's in the hundreds and heading towards the thousands. So when you get home then at night time do you watch anything at all? No but I can't wait to watch Barbie when it comes out the week <laughs> after the fla. <laughs> Oppenheim and, and, and Barbie so I'll be going for the Barbie one I think just for a little relaxation and a box um, of popcorn. The, the Barbie Barbie. Now down through the years the Golden Film Fla has gone from strength to strength and you've had some wonderful people working with you uh, all the way along but you've had some great successes and some great scoops and some great people come in. Yes. And I think we're going to replicate that again this year. Oh, yeah. And yeah, and I will be murdered if I tell you anything that I'm not allowed Give to me tell a hint. you. I would love to. Uh, all I can say is that our opening, which we're going to announce quite soon, our opening film and our closing films are phenomenal. They are like absolutely world class. We are incredibly um, excited with them. Will they be first showings? They will be uh, an Irish premiere for both. So we're very, very excited. Um, That's, that took some negotiations. Well, we're pretty, we do prioritise Irish premieres. So we do have world premieres and, you know, we will, but we will prioritise. If your film is screened elsewhere in Ireland, you know, we may screen it, but we will prioritise those that are Irish premieres. It's very, very important. Um, and then a lot of films come to us when they are starting their journey and they're going to go off to other international film festivals or they're about to go into the, um, the big screen. So mm. it's a great platform because, as you know yourself, it's not just the audience which we you know the cultural audience the local audience but we have a big industry audience who land on Galway at that time as well which, so is, which is huge huge for Galway yes well festival weeks are starting now as you know yeah. and the festival week for the FLA there isn't anyone that isn't anyone in the film business that isn't in town for that week okay can I put me question another way will we have some big names sitting in that chair that you were in some morning we will have some very big names I mean more on a more it's you know names now rather than bodies like. <laughs> Names, yes. Yeah, yeah no, we, we really do. And, you know, I'm really, really excited about this program in particular. I'm excited because we cross that boundaries of very beautiful independent cinema and, you know, people who have worked a lot to get, yeah. you know, this film off the ground to the big kind of blockbustery distributor type yeah. films so there is that lovely little um, divide that, that's sitting there and some films that are just going to, they're extraordinary I have to say, you will be very very pleased And do you then uh, Maeve McGrath, do you, when you see something and you're sitting in a dark room or you're, wherever you're watching them in the office in Merton's Road uh, do you know what's going to do well in the flower? Yes Straight away. Do you? You really do. You know, you're, you're thinking of your audience all the time. Who's the audience for this? Is this, you know, the book club audience that likes to come together to go to see a film? You know, we have films, you know, so for instance, the Ukrainian films that we screen do very, very well with our community here in the ground. I was, um, some films we get in and we can watch on the big screen. They send us a file and we can watch that. But I was in Dublin recently to watch um, a film because they make you sit in the cinema and watch it, you know, and I sat there and watched this particular film and I was going, oh, this is just unbelievable. It's going to, just people are just going to be blown away. This is, to me, the film of the year. And we're bringing it here to Galway. And mm. I can't tell you the name, but you'll know it soon, I promise. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to turn your microphone up, Lord, <laughs> unless you start telling me names on a Friday. I like, know. Well, we can't do too much silence because something else will take over. Exactly, but, exactly. No. So there, that's the type of, that's the type of calibre and quality of product that's coming. Very strong. Um, we did an early release this week with some of the films and already they're heading for sold out. I can tell you now, six films. So we have um, Apocalypse Clown, hilarious dark comedy, you know, from George Kane, absolutely a scream. Um, world Irish premiere, you know, it's the, the the world premiere of a beautiful Irish film. Lies We Tell is a great period drama coming to us with um, Agnes O'Casey in the lead role there, who would have been Sean O'Casey's great, great granddaughter. And that is already heading for selling out. I'm deadly serious. If you want tickets for any of these, you have 
have to go book them. Where, we, where do you get them? So go away, um, dot ie dot com, and you can also go on the Town Hall Theatre website. So they sell tickets THT. for us. Well. THT, exactly. And we have beautiful family animation, Greyhound of a Girl, Roddy Doyle script, which is just gorgeous. Brenda Gleeson is a voice in there, Rosalind Lenehan. And it's just the sweetest film. That's going to be on Sunday. You know, so it's an afternoon session for families. Come along and watch this gorgeous animation. And a lot of our stories as well, Keith, you know, you've stories of love, you've stories of loss. But, you know, for this one, I think, which is really special, Greyhound of a Girl, I made my little niece sit down and watch it with me. She's six years old. And I thought if it passes the six year old test, we're we're doing really well. Mm -hmm. And she turned to me at the end. She said, that's so beautiful. And so sad. And I said, I know. At six. At six. And I said, girl, would you think other, other children will come to see it? And she said, yeah, absolutely. And I knew then, I knew just for watching her face, because it's this little girl who wants to be a chef. And, you know, her grandmother's teaching her. And we discovered then along the way that grandma's not very well. So it tells a story oh. that little children sometimes have to go through. But it has a beautiful way of telling that story. So we think that's going to be a big hit. Um, how many productions in total? So we will probably screen up to about 94 feature films this year. There'll be over 90 short films. Then along with that, you have master classes. Wait a second, 94? Feature films. Feature films. <laughs> yeah. There'll be 90 short films. 90 short films. And along with that, we will have um, industry events, master classes. Um, we have special events along with that. We have, you know, really exciting and we have a beautiful, exciting, very exciting viewer um, taking place as well. So it's... Yeah. What's, what's VR? So virtual reality. Oh, virtual so reality. yeah, that's and it's a very special one. Uh, I've seen it already, and um, I was like, I just want to get everybody in, and that's going to be limited. Our, our greatest difficulty is we have five days to give you everything, you know. So it's one screening of a film, you know, in general. We'd love to show you more, obviously, you know. But ninety four is a lot to fit in, and um, and the, the vast majority are world or Irish premieres. So that's it's just great. Mother, I'm glad. <laughs> yes, I Do know. You know what? I'm I'm worn out listening to you. <laughs> so come and not watch you. some films in it's a dark not, room. That's what you have to do. It's not your fault, <laughs> fault at all. I'm just thinking. I mean, ninety and ninety plus yes. industry. Yes, so and then really and truly, I mean, you need to pace yourself. We really do, and you know, even at that, and and you know, I will hope to introduce and you know do Q and A's after all of those as well, with the help of my colleagues Holly and and uh, Paddy as well, which we want to introduce those filmmakers that are here. We want to the audience to see them, to meet them, and so you are running between we screen at the Plus and we screen at Town Hall. So there is a little kind of a jog. I'll be on my bike going around town, you know, between the two uh, spaces. Have you an electric bike? I don't. I'm a pedal bike. So I um yeah I, I wouldn't know how lock. to work an electric bike. <laughs> well, I'm hoping to throw it in somewhere as I kind of hop off it, run in. I did look at the the bikes that are around town. You know those the Galway bikes that you yeah, see, yeah. and I, I might have a little go at those and see do how they work as well. I'd have used them elsewhere. Listen, well done. Yeah, it's it's um I can't. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing Apocalypse uh, Clown. Yes. And I like that Roddy Doyle, sound of the Roddy Doyle when that's your niece. Yes, was, yeah. absolutely. And Martini shot with Matthew Modine, the Matthew Modine that we love. He's coming to town. And so we're going to have him on Thursday night. Those tickets are, are really going very quickly. So if you are a big Matthew Modine fan, and of course all the ones who know Stranger Things and all the much younger oh, yeah, dramas yeah, that yeah. I don't see anymore, and he's an Oppenheimer as well. So uh, he's, he's in a, town. He's, he's in Oppenheimer, the new big film that's okay. coming in um, the week after us. It's going to be in all the cinemas along with Barbie. So pick pick carefully that week. If you're finding it difficult to keep up, how do you think I am at my age? <laughs> <laughs> trying, I know, trying to, trying to even keep up with you. Altogether. I know. Listen, thanks for joining us. Uh, no, today. Father, and thanks. Well done. You'll be in and out all the time, so you will, Mother Graham. <laughs> and um, well done, Congrats. Is this, this is your first year now? It's my first year here, so I'm really excited about this. And we have a great team. You know, everybody who's there working in the office, working remotely are fantastic. And so we're really grateful to them all. Good stuff. And um, don't behave yourself. But enjoy. <laughs> Made um, we'll, we'll, see, we'll talk to you in, in a few weeks' time again. We'll just we'll, we'll keep in contact because uh, it really is a, a wonderful. It's wonderful, and it's it's around the world. It's loved. I mean, the amount yeah. of people I've met around the world that have said, "I've been to the Gulf Film Flat." I've been, been to, to the Flat. It's kind of like saying I've been to Connemara or I've been to Ireland. Yeah. And uh, the Film Flat seems to be their calling. Well done, Tia. Thanks for joining Girl. us. Quick commercial.